Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is inequalities. Our subtopic is simultaneous inequalities. Uh, solving simultaneous inequalities and we we'll start with simple simultaneous inequalities. So we are going to com combine two simple inequalities and then you will solve them using the information that you already know about uh, changing the sign if we multiply with or divide with a negative value. And then you put these two um, answers into one compound uh, statement and then you represent that on the number line. So you do a few steps. So let's do this question for example. So we have 3x minus 1 is greater than negative 4. So we will solve it naturally as we were. So this we add 1 and we add 1 the other side. So this becomes 3x minus 1 plus 1, which is greater than negative 4 plus 1. So this gives us 3x is greater than negative 3 because negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So you divide both sides by 3. And you notice we are not dividing by a negative value, so we do not have to change the sign. So this gives us x is greater than negative 1. We solve the second equation, which is going to be 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. So we are going to subtract 1 this side and subtract 1 this side. So this is going to give us 2x plus 1 minus 1, which is less or equals to 7 minus 1. So this is going to be 2x less or equal to 6 because 7 minus 1 is 6. We divide by 2, we divide by 2. So you notice you're not changing the sign still because you have not divided with a negative or multiplied with a negative. So x becomes less or equals to 3. So let's combine these two simple statements to 1. So x, we said we put these two signs. So x is greater than negative 1 and x is less or equals to 3. So the values of x are between negative 1 and 3. After that, you draw a number line and you show your values. So we said the values are between negative 1, so here, and 3. And 3 is part of the values of x, so you fill it completely, while 1, negative 1 is not. So that is our, how we show the answers on the number line. So let's do the same uh, few examples using the same thinking. And remember we said we can get negative division and multiplication. So you can expect that in our examples. Let's, let's look at those questions. So you can solve these questions side by side as I work them out on your own as well and see if you get the same answer. So x plus 3 is greater than 5 and x minus 4 is less than 4. So we also solve the first one, which is x plus 3 is greater than 5. So we will subtract 3 both sides. So we have x plus 3 minus 3 is greater than 5 minus 3, which gives us x is greater than 2. And then for the second equation is x minus 4 is less than 4. So you add 4 both sides. So this becomes x minus 4 plus 4 is less than 4 plus 4. So x is less than 8. So when we write our values, x is going to be greater than 2 but less than 8. So when you show that in the number line, most of the work is on the positive side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. So you start between 8 and 2. So this is where our values lie. Use our ruler. And none of them are part of the values of x. So you draw circles that are not filled. So x are values between 2 and 8, and 2 and 8 are not part of those answers. So let's do more. So we have x plus 10 is greater or equals to 6. So let's solve that one. So we are going to subtract 10 both sides. So x is equals to plus 10 minus 10 
is greater or equal to 6 minus 10. So this gives us x is greater or equals to 6 minus 10. 6 is a smaller number, so it becomes minus 4. So the next equation is x minus 2 is less or equals to 3. So we we'll add two both sides. So this becomes x minus 2 plus 2 is less or equals to 3 plus 2. So this becomes x is less or equals to 5. So x is greater or equals to negative 4 and x is less than or equals to 5. So when we are drawing our values, we'll lie between 5 and negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So all our values are in between. I, I make it a bit bolder so that you will get to see. Yours should have a ruler in it when you're drawing up to 5. And 5 is part of the values of x, so we bold it. And negative 4 is also part of the values of x. So the values of x will lie between negative 4 and 5. And negative 4 and 5 are part of the answers, can be part of the values of x. So let's do a one with negative now that we have practiced on the positive ones. So the first one, the first question is a half x minus 2 great less this than 1. So we are going to add positive 2, positive 2. So we are left with a half x minus 2 plus 2 is less or equals to 1 plus 2, which gives us a half x is less or equals to 3. So you multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1, negative 2 over 1, negative 2 over 1. So since we are multiplying with a negative number value, we said you change the sign. So this becomes x is greater or equals to negative 6. The second question is negative 3x minus 9 is greater than negative 6. So you add 9 both sides. So that we have minus 3x minus 9 plus 9 is greater than minus 6 plus 9. So this is minus 3x since this is 0 is greater than minus 6 plus 9 gives us 3, positive 3. You divide both sides by negative 3 and you get x because you have divided by a negative value is going to be less than negative 1. <coughs> So the final answer is going to look like this. So x is greater or equals to negative 6 and x is less than negative 1. So our values are going to be in between negative 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, 1, 2. So our values are going to be in between negative 6 these are our values of x and negative 1. Negative 1 is not part of x and negative 6 is, so you feel that. So values between uh, negative 6 and negative 1 can be x apart from negative 1. So that's how you solve that question. So I hope you have been able to understand what we have done. So you can check out more revision questions in the app. You get an opportunity to do like practice how to solve those simultaneous equations. And also we have more notes on the same in the app. So I'm going to see you in the next lesson when you're going to discuss something else. See you then.